Good morning, LinkedIn, and welcome to Depth Camera Central. I received two brand new sensors this morning. One is from Occipital, it is the new core sensor, which is the upgrade from the old structure system. And this is the new Intel D435i. Let's jump into that Intel system first. So what you guys see here on these four streams is two individual cameras that I have set up through the Intel RealSense viewer. Now this system has several different upgrades, but the most significant one is the six axis IMU or inertial measurement unit. This is very important for mapping 3D environments as it's gonna put a timestamp on its position in space as you move it around. This is very important in robotics and drones um, so it knows where it's at as it's you know meshing all of this volumetric uh, imagery together. And as you see here, this new uh, infrared stream, uh, they call this the vertical cavity surface emitting laser projector or V-cell. And you also have a left and right side Im imagers for stereo vision. And then you have a, an RGB color sensor uh, on the front there. And, and the resolution on this, it goes down to about 0.2 meters and it can scan environments up to 10 meters wide with a resolution about 1280 by 720 at up to 90 frames per second. Right now I'm only running this at 30 frames per second, but the, the, the Intel sensor utilizes a 28 nanometer Intel D4 vision processor and uh, that's for the depth data and then a Realtek color image processor. Um, for the for the V-cell system, it's very, very small. It's only about two and a, two and a half, 2.7 millimeters by 1.8 millimeters and it can record up to 60 frames per second. Now OmniVision supplies the three image sensors uh, and, and a CMOS 1080p RGB sensor. It also has a twin one megapixel sensor for the left and right side imagers. Uh, this is, I mean, if you can kind of take a look at this here, look for the resolution wise, if you're comparing it to other sensors, this is incredible. I have two, both of these depth streams set up for different uh, you know, different parameters. One is set up for accuracy, one is set up for density, and then I have some other filtration and whole gap algorithms on each individual side. But what we're gonna do next in the next video series of this is stream three of these together. This is my third one here, the two are in front of me, and we're gonna combine all that information together to generate a very highly accurate um, 3D volumetric capture that we can output to the Magic Leap. So that's gonna be a really fun test uh, to, to keep moving forward. Now the occipital core, I just received this yesterday. I think there was probably less than 500 people in the world that got this on December 12th. And this is the upgrade to the old occipital structure. So you can kind of, you guys can go back the last two weeks, everyone's asking me, well, why are you, guys, why are you reviewing this structure sensor that's four years old? Because I was leading into this. I was really excited. I wanted to review for everybody the technology um, for this old sensor that they have, which I still use. I mean, for 3D scanning and for various other applications, which I showed you in those previous videos, this still works. It hooks up to the old iPad, but the new one has a USB-C input port. I think it's 1280 by 900 resolution. It also has a laser scanner, a six axis IMU. And this technology is being used by Cura, a, a augmented reality a transparent heads up display down in San Francisco. It's also being used in the Misty 2 robotic system. So I didn't buy the Misty 2 robot, I just wanted the sensor. I do still want the robot, so we'll, we'll see if we can get that in the future. Um, but these types of sensors are obviously for navigation in robotics, in drones, and also with, because they're adding the six axis IMU, you can now use it in augmented reality and virtual reality for positional and tracking data. Now, this is something we couldn't do in previous iterations of the D435 or D415 or 400, and then for the occipital uh, core structures. But the Z camera, the Z mini, also has that six axis IMU for stereo pass through for mixed reality um, design and applications. So let me show you the video for this new structure sensor. Instead of going through all of the dif different applications, I thought it might be pertinent to show you guys what this looks like from their video. So let's go ahead and get that started right now. Structure Core has everything built in. A 160 degree visible light camera or an 85 degree full color camera, a six axis IMU that can stream at over a thousand hertz, all in perfect sync with a next generation active stereo depth engine. The depth engine is powered by sharp stereo IR cameras, a brand new high contrast laser projector and a powerful depth processing chip culminating in depth that's not only more precise and accurate, but it's also global shutter. 
Structure Core is available in a compact and beautiful package. Or as a bare. Wow, that's amazing, right? So they haven't released the new SDK for this yet. I just called, uh, contacted Occipital yesterday because I downloaded the old Structure SDK. I wanted to show you guys a real time viewing of this. I'm going to have to dive into it over the next few days. To, to get it to be functional. But you can see that the applications for both of them are similar, um, but some of the, I think this one goes down to about 30 or 40 centimeters for the occipital structure, or the occipital core sensor, whereas the Intel system is about 0.2 meters. So a little bit further out, but the Intel has 90 degrees field of view. Uh, the occipital core has 160 degrees uh, field of view for visible, but about 85 degrees field of view for the RGB sensor. I hope you guys enjoyed this. As always, feel free to contact me if you have any questions about volumetric capture, stereo infrared projection or laser systems, um, or spatially mapped 3D environments, anything that you guys have questions on, feel free to reach out to me and I'll endeavor to give you the best possible answer. Thank you so much and have a great day.